HR Tech Partnership is an angel investment fund, uh, but it's different because the investors are all senior HR directors or HR professionals, uh, and the investment is in HR tech startups, digital tech startups. We look at investments in the whole, uh, in the space of the entire HR life cycle, starting with recruitment, uh, performance management, learning and development, talent management, reward, recognition, wellness, employee engagement, outplacement. So it could be really anything there. Uh, and sometimes you start off looking for something, but a good startup pops up. So the investments we've made uh, have been a bit diverse. Uh, one is uh, around employee scheduling. Um, and to be honest, we never thought we would look really at employee scheduling, but it's a, it's a great product. Um, the second one we've done has been around employee engagement, feedback, and just helping line managers do one-on-ones more effectively. HR Tech Partnership is an unusual VC because the investors are not just investing money, but they are very closely involved in the decision making. So one is they get to see the whole range of startups we are considering, which is great education and awareness, but they also have an input into the final decision around which investment to make. And as a consequence, they are it's not just handing over the money, but uh, even after the investment is done, they are available to the startups for any mentoring, uh, for using the network, uh, and just in terms of making sure that the product is successful. However, it depends very much on how involved each investor wants to get. When I started exploring this uh, two and a half years ago, I had just come back from Hong Kong. And I knew that after Silicon Valley, London was supposed to be number two in terms of tech startups. But I was truly amazed at the vibrancy of this market, and it has grown, uh, grown even more over the last few years. Uh, and particularly HR deals or deal making has gone up by 15 to 20% every year. So HR tech is a very, very hot uh, market in London right now. And the quality of startups that you see is amazing. I think digital disruption is not just in areas. I think business models are getting disrupted. And all of us are familiar with Airbnb and Uber. And these two are great examples of what a taxi service is to look like and what it looks like now, uh, what hotels and uh, holiday accommodation is to look like and what it looks like now. So um, I think for every business, digital disruption has to be viewed very seriously, not just as an IT issue, not just as a uh, productivity issue, but really in terms of the core business model. And then I think surrounding that, each and every function is getting disrupted in the same way, whether it's finance, and which is why fintech is big, uh, legal tech, uh, property tech, you have HR tech. So uh, just overall, the pace of change and disruption that's happening in businesses is 10 times as compared to a few years ago. thing to remember is, is startups are uh, using startups is cheap when I say cheap it is far far cheaper than getting into some expensive big rollout of an HRI system so my first advice would be experiment uh, you can do it in a small way in a small team try and use them experiment with them and, and, and I think you'll realize very soon that the benefits far outweigh any issues you may have the second thing you could do is, is look at creating a bit of an innovation center within your function. And that provides you with the opportunity of to look at and give some interesting startups a chance to grow and scale up in a way they couldn't have earlier. And of course, the third thing is to do is to invest. Um, I personally and my investors are investing primarily because it gives them an exposure that's very different to what you would normally get. The investment fund really has two types of investors. Uh, one is what I call as high net worth HR directors uh, who invest a minimum of 50,000 um, pounds. And for that, they continuously get to see what's happening in the market. Uh, they get an opportunity to decide which deal to invest in. However, now, because of my partnership with Cedars, there's an opportunity for even what I call as the regular HR professionals to invest much smaller sums of money. So it could be a 2K or a 3K or a 5K, and they could do it deal by deal. So they could look at an investment opportunity that comes up on the Cedars platform. They could decide whether it's worth investing in it and, 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 and go ahead with it.